Stop the press, stop the press. XPS 17 coming. Well, let's find out when. So this comes with Windows 10 Home. What the luck? Come on, let's get rid of that Windows Home. Let's get some Windows Pro. Copy and paste my code from the description. You can also get Office 2019. Just paste my code. Woof, it's Windows Pro time. Righto, tell you there champs and welcome to the show. And I'm going to be pretty brief on this because I don't want to XPS you out, but come on, XPS 17, what is going on? And I cannot believe just when you thought you knew everything about the XPS 15 that's coming out, well, we know some more apparently due to this leak. I don't know if it's real. If it's real, awesome. If it's not, well, <laughs> what can I do? Let's talk about it anyway. I'll go from top to bottom. So this come from twankers, sorry, tweakers.com.net. This picture is supposed to be a leaked roadmap of all the XPS products. And wow, there's even an XPS dual screen Maximus. I'll go from the top to the bottom. It seems like they all have code names. And if this is real, it gives us an idea of when the next XPS 15 is going to come out as well. So if we go to the top, it looks like I'll just go for all the code names. They've all got like Italian code names. So it looks like the XPS 17, 70, 700. Stradale, and then we have the XPS 15 7500 Fiara, no? And <laughs> the next XPS 15 is, is Bellinetta, yeah, something like that. Then you have Italia, Modana, Centenario, and Dual Screen Maximus. And yeah, my wife's Italian, she's gonna kill me for butchering her language there, but um, very interesting. Now, one of the most common comments I get is actually not just for XPS, but you know, even Aero 15, the MacBook Pro, and of course the XPS is, I would love a 17 inch version. 17 inch displays are the best. All right, they're a bit bigger, but you gotta remember now, you can make a 17 inch pretty much the size of what a 15 inch was a few years ago because of the slim bezels and you know, the footprint you can get them into now. So it's gotta be nothing like the old 17 inch laptops that are really big and with that being 17 inch you get extra room you'll be able to put the maximum battery side you'll have better cooling more room for bigger heat sinks you know bigger fans that lower rpm and less noise it should be really epic and i expect more powerful graphics cards when it comes to the xps 15 it might be able to have a 1660 or something like this it's supposed to come with comment lake CPU, which is basically 14 nanometer, if you don't know, apparently Intel, <laughs> they're not bringing 10 nanometer to the H line anytime soon. It's going to come in the Ice Lake, like the U part. That's going to be the first one. So Comet Lake looks like it might be 10 core CPU. So that 10 core for the desktop and 10 core for the laptop. So yeah, interesting. Now it says here 2020, June, July for that XPS 17. So let me know what you think down there. Would you go a 17 inch laptop? Now, when it comes to the second line there, we can see XPS 15. Now, it says sort of June, and it says XPS 15 7590. That's the Berlinetta, whatever it's called. Eight cores. Yeah, that makes sense. But why are they going 7590? Why are they not 9580, given that it's really just a refresh in the exact same sort of design as the last model? So that's a bit strange. But what it does show you in the, you know, the red and white checker box is the XPS 15 7500. The Fiorano. That is due next year, end of March, it looks like. So it says concept at the moment, but um, so hopefully that's a new design next year. Or maybe they're waiting till 10 nanometer and going with the old design again. I'm not sure, but there is a new model according to this leak next year, March, end of March. Now with the XPS 13, there's a new one coming this year in September. Whether that will have the Ice Lake CPUs, who knows? but there's another one coming next year at, in February. I'm not sure if the September or next year's February will get the Ice Lake CPUs. And if you don't know what they are, the Ice Lake CPUs are the quad core U part, but they're gonna have much better graphics and they're gonna be 10 nanometer. So they're a big deal. You're gonna be able to play probably AAA titles on these Ultrabooks, four cores, 10 nanometer, and you're going to have really good graphics. Apparently, it's supposed to double the graphic performance of the current Intel HD graphics. So that looks awesome. XPS 15 2 1 looks like it's going into next year, staying around for a while. But the new XPS 13 2 in 1 is probably due in August this year. So I don't know what that's going to have, whether it's going to have an Ice Lake CPU or it's going to have one of those Core Y or M 
friggin' crappy things, actually. They'll do get the most out of it, but whatever. I do like that XPS 2-in-1, but if it had a better CPU, I'd like it even more. But the strange one here is the XPS Dual Screen Maximus, which is due end of next year, or October or something like that. What does that mean? Maximus? It's got to be big, right? And dual screen. So does that mean you have a screen keyboard and a screen display and you just open it up and you use one as a keyboard, one as the display? Or is it like a tablet thing with a screen on both sides? Or what is it? I'm very interested to know. Now you've got to take these with a pinch of salt, but apparently it is a leaked roadmap. It's interesting. Um, let me know what you think. I just thought I'd let you know. Catch you next one, guys. Tally ho.